Hello VR addicts, welcome to Paolo Triani's channel. Uh, yeah, we've got a really cool exclusive today uh, called Hard Bullet. It's a uh, early alpha, very early alpha game. So yeah, it's all about shooting and stuff. It's cool. It's very cool. Wait, that should have killed you. Whose bullet is this? Whose bullet is this? Uh, it might be my bullet. It's yours, is it? Well, you want it back? Oh no! That's my beautiful face! Yeah. That's right. So, this is Hard Bullet. And, yeah, this is the pre-alpha demo, as it's called. And I've got an exclusive look at it thanks to the uh, developer and uh, it's looking pretty fine so far in here there's a lot of things not added yet obviously being pre-alpha and some things are disconnected whilst they're working on but we've got like uh, player settings here and you can change stuff there's only locomotion that I don't think there is any teleport um, I'm not entirely sure what's this there might be teleport let's have a look no this is just yeah, this is head movement. This is going to be hand movement. Yeah, so that's locomotion settings. So there is no uh, teleport. There is no smooth turning at the moment. There's only snap turning. There's so many different versions of snap turning. You can literally slow this thing down all the way to one. So look how slow that is when you hit it. That's not me doing that. That's... Uh, the game doing it so if you do feel a little motion sick on turning that does help ignore that real height thing because I'm, I'm honestly i'm taller uh and then you can adjust the floor settings and the sitting settings and you can sit and you know choose which hand is your dominant etc and then there's audio settings now if you notice i've turned the music down a little so just in because I always say this because it's rubbish, but it's not because it's rubbish. I never finished the sentence. It's because, uh, you know, just in case of copyright claims, I don't want to have to get rid of all my sound just so I, you know, can get past it. Um, so, yeah, you've got quite a lot of settings there. Uh, and then you've got graphic settings. When I first come on this, it said graphic settings, yes. <laughs> Graphics quality, yes, it said. Sorry. So, yeah, you can go ultra, you got very low. So, you've got a lot to choose from there. You've got show blood. You got show bullet trails and you got dead body counts uh, so you can have as many as you want in there uh, I would assume well uh, what is let's see what it goes up to oh, and it goes up to five up to five then uh, dead body hide time uh, in there and you also got use vnet in on slow motion I'd probably do that anyway that slow motion just there. There's also a slow jump. Watch this. Wow, isn't that like weird? I accidentally hit my right pad as well. Let's hit that back. Um, so let me. Uh, oh, I've just gone to the. I could have just done it on both because they've both got it, haven't they? So basically, this is a very, very early experience of this game. So there's a lot more to add. Um, no auto reload an animation right now, no customizations and limited interactions, only a few types available. So, you know, that's not in yet, but that is coming. Enemy AI, two enemy characters at the moment, uh, and they're very basic intelligence at the moment. Interaction, limited character interaction, object interaction is turned off at the moment. Gore and dismemberment are turned off, so there's only blood. Um, Real-time lighting and shadows are turned off, um, however I think there's shadows in this uh, area that I'm in. Real-time, oh, I've already did that, inventory, gun holsters are turned off at the moment. Sounds, most of them are placeholders and not yet balanced yet, so the sounds haven't really worked on just yet, because this is obviously early alpha. Um, grenades and explosions are turned off, so we haven't got any of those in the game yet. And as you can see, what I mean is with the shadow is I've got a little shadow here, right? So I've got a shadow in this bit here. Hello, here's my shadow. Don't ask me why my head's looking down. Here's my shadow, I'm missing a head. Where's my head? Oh no, 
There's no head. God damn it, I'm gonna have to check my privates. In here, oh, I swear I had a head last time. In here it looks like I'm squatting to do something, you know? Something I shouldn't be doing. Uh, yeah, I, I, I gave these guns a little whirl. They're not normally on the floor. They're normally on this thingy-majiggy here, but I gave them a little whirl uh, before I got started to see what the sounds were like. I actually quite like the sounds, but they just don't sound loud enough, but it's probably because I've got the volume quite low. And I love the feel of the gun, actually, as well. Um, let's try waves to start with. And here we go. Okay, so this looks quite funky. There's some shimmering, obviously, uh, early access. Maybe the that will go away eventually. Um, what gun shall I go with? What gun? Should we go for an MP5? UMP? There's two UMPs on the board, right? I'm not seeing things. Oh, this is identical boards. <laughs> okay, I'm completely an absolute spanner, and I sometimes I'm like the worst spanner in the toolkit. Um, okay, so oh, look at this. Check you can get to the settings here in the menu as well. So I'm going to go with the MP5. The only trouble is, is I don't have ammo. Oh, does it just go down? You just put it down. Is that it? Okay. Music though, I turned it down by 50%. I know it's it's beasting me right now. Oh wow, it's a lot of fun. I need to really get slow mo on, right? So some destructive stuff. I wonder if I should have dual wield this. Slow mo. Take it to the face. tangled up in my cables you know oculus wireless adapter i'm actually negotiating for a wireless adapter right now with somebody on ebay for uh my uh quest uh quest my uh quest like a quest these one <laughs> no i mean my uh cosmos uh, i am definitely dual wielding can i dual wield uh not what i wanted to dual wield oh yes now it feels cool. Oh. It's actually pretty damn good for a pre-alpha. I've had pre-alphas before and this is kicking ass, man. Uh, obviously the waves aren't sorted out. Oh no, it says on here though, current wave four. Clear 30. 30 waves. Okay, I'm getting some stuttering here, but it's not to do with the game, I think. It's not the FPS neither. Did you get... Some of them are going back, back, back up again, right? That's cool. These enemies look all right as well. Oh, it disappeared. I thought it was taking three minutes. <laughs> Yeah, we'll leave it on for your way. Somebody. Oh. 
Oh my god, how long were you there? Jeez, he wasn't even shooting me. I think he was going for a growth of my ass, man. That's sexism. That's friggin' sexism. I'm going to complain to the flipping HR for that. 100%. Definitely was coming up for me for a big growth of my ass. Don't blame him, though. Got a great ass. All right, wave number six is done. Uh, it's done very good. Should we try um, the uh, ump? I wonder if it's the nine mil. Oh, it sounds the same, but I guess placeholders. Slow mo. What about the slow mo jump, right? Oh, I saw that. Slow mo jump. Oh, it's just an ordinary jump for that. You have to hold it down for the slow mo jump. Slow mo jump. No, oh, he's not there. I saw his thingy a second ago, right? Oh, getting poppins here. Slow mo jump. Can't aim in slow mo jump. Oh no, there's some black enemies coming in! Black Ops! They've come all the way from Call of G! Aha, there you go. Great, I can reload as well. Fantastic. So destructive environments are nice... Uh, Idea realistically, isn't it? Oh, I got shot. My gun collided with the uh, thingy there, that was pretty good. Ha! He's trying to take the whole flipping cupboard with it. The whole flipping. Oh, it disappeared. Oh, no, it didn't disappear. There we go. <laughs> locker. Yeah, the whole locker was going. That is fantastic. Uh, do you know, the speed and the velocity of this game would make an interesting uh, MP, wouldn't it? Multiplayer, PvP. Oh God, I was looking this way and there was a dude just there on my right. <laughs> You're overdressed! Oh god, again. That's what I gotta look my, my right more often, don't I? Well, there you go. There is Hard Bullet, and I was in there for some time, and it's quite humid, so I'm pretty sweaty. Sweaty Nelly. Is that, is that a word? I don't know. I just made that up. Anyway, you know, this is a very pre-alpha game and we got an exclusive look or demo, whatever. But yeah, I, at the moment, I think it's looking pretty good. It feels pretty good. I didn't see that many bugs as well. It's almost like they took all the bugs out of it. Other than the magazine thing, when the magazine went back in, uh, when I released the magazine, it would, on the right hand, it would go to single fire, clip to single fire, because it's the same button you see, like you would press it to change between fire modes and you would hold it to release your magazine. So I was holding it, but then it was registering as one. But the left side was fine. Very odd. So enemy AI, as they said, are uh, there's only two types, and there was only two types. There was a Black Ops dude and an Army dude. That was pretty cool. They were looked great. The animation was fine. It wasn't too janktastic. It was uh, pretty damn good, actually, to be fair, uh, of a pre-alpha. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, their intelligence is just come and kill you. So, you know no ducking or weaving or trying to stay out of the way or sometimes it takes a while for them to shoot you but then that is kind of arcade mode and not the realistic mode which they will literally tear you to pieces the gore and dismemberment obviously wasn't there but there was a hell of a lot of blood the gore and dismemberment will be there but the core the blood is just nuts anyway it's quite brutal uh real-time lighting and shadows obviously are not implemented right now 
the gun holsters are turned off so you can't put your gun away at all or you know so you can't have multiple guns uh but you can dual wield guns so that's pretty good i was walking around as you can see like with uh two types of guns obviously the sounds at the moment are just placeholders but they sounded pretty good to be fair um and grenades and explosions are turned off so let's go on and talk about the graphics well the graphics are pretty basic obviously nothing super fantastic the soldier men looked brilliant though to be fair everything else looked a bit kind of plain at the moment um some shimmering as well but then there was only one place there was only one area that you could adventure around as well um the audio like i said it's just a placeholder so we probably shouldn't talk about it too much but like i said it didn't sound too bad and because of the laser sights on these guns and all that, we didn't really have to listen out for behind you because you could see the laser coming past you as well, which was pretty damn good. Um, so what about the gameplay? Well, it's addictive. It is addictive, just like any other wave shooter or survival mode. But the problem is with, uh, with them, they need to have really good locomotion. And I kind of felt that this nailed it. Um, a kind of snap turning is not for everybody, so some smooth turning in there as well would be great. I was moving around in my actual environment, which was also great, other than the fact that I was constantly getting tangled with the Rift FS cable. Um, Oculus, an adapter please, wireless adapter, you can do it, you know you can do it. Jeez, it's not all about the Quest, you know what I mean? It's not all about the Quest, the Rift S, and you know how many people would buy that on the Rift S. There's lots of Rift S owners out there, a lot. Um, so anyway, going back to the gameplay, it's pretty great and there is destruction in the environment. I would say not as much as I would hope uh, there would be, but there's a few tables and wooden stuff that you can obviously smash and obviously like bins and stuff like that. Obviously things in metal do not smash, but then also at the same time, the holes look like they kind of disappear as well. So I'd like to see them remain as well. That would be really cool. Um, Shooting the enemies is really good fun. Uh, I like the way they go down and then they can get back up again as well if they've you know only been injured and not killed. I think that's pretty damn cool. There's like survival mode, wave mode, uh, and both those modes have either arcade or realistic as well, I believe, and they are absolutely cool because I went, I went for arcade because realistic would just probably... Pew, um, and it did. Like if you... I don't know if there's a video of it there, but... Yeah, uh, realistic mode is is uh, pretty bad, badass. Um, there's a lot of guns to pick from. You got your M4, you got your UMP, uh, you got your MP5, you got a shotgun, you got a um, a uh, Uzi, uh, and then you got a sort of I think it's another Uzi with a silencer on there. So you you've got those choice of weapons as well, um, which is not too bad. A bit more would be fantastic, especially some more assault rifles and etc. Would be cool and different types of shotguns would be fantastic as well but yeah for an exclusive look at a very early build i'd say that it's shaping up quite nicely i'm quite impressed with it so yeah I, i'm definitely giving it a thumbs up from what i've seen so far and i'm gonna hopefully keep an eye on this game as it goes along because it sounds plays looks pretty decent it's hopeful let's put it that way very hopeful so if you like this video, please give me a like and also subscribe because it goes straight to the heart. Hit that bell button if you want to watch more VR content like this and leave a comment below of anything you may have seen today or anything else. Just leave a comment there if you want to. Um, thank you for watching. I love you a long time and ciao.